upon a time before I took up smiling, I hated the moonlight. Shadows of the night that poets find beguiling seem to flatter the moonlight. With no one to stay up for, I went to sleep at ten. Life was a bitter cup for the saddest of all men. Blue moon, you saw me standing alone without a dream in my heart, without a love of my own. Suddenly appeared before me The only one my arms will ever hold I heard somebody whisper, please adore me And when I looked, the moon had turned to gold A blue moon Now I'm no longer alone Without a dream in my Rogers and Hart claim this is their greatest song hit, which is saying a lot for the men who gave us Blue Room, My Heart Stood Still, Thou Swell, and to many others. It has much of the caliber of the verse of June and January, and yet is entirely different. They capture the feeling of a blue moon. And there suddenly appeared before me The only one my arms will ever hold I heard somebody whisper, please adore me And when I looked, the moon had turned to gold Blue moon, now I'm no longer alone Without a dream in my I finally cajoled Cliff Burwell into making a new orchestration of it, an orchestration that really gives the Yankees a chance to cut up a bit, and the Stewart sisters, as well as yours truly, to vocalize it for you. You love me someday, so why not now? Thank you. 
show you how think what you're missing oh it's a shame you miss the kissing and the rest of the game in open spaces where men are men a chicken never waits till she's a hen don't keep me waiting why do why you love me someday so why not now necessary to radio technique, they have managed to retain the assurance, the precision, the gusto that is and always will be the mark of good theater. Tonight they review the history of American popular music in a dramatic presentation they call the Cavalcade of Songs. The story of our time, told through the songs we all remember. 1900, the turn of the century. The country is just beginning to forget the Spanish-American War, but still remembers the song the boys sang as they marched away. And when the birds sang through, in the chorus all going in, they'll be on hard time in the old town tonight. 1910, the year Theodore Roosevelt came back from his African expedition, the year Halley's Comet flashed across the heavens, the year everyone was singing... I wonder, kissing the now. I wonder, kissing the now. I wonder if she ever tells him of me. I Gilbert wrote the famous tune that set the nation's feet to tapping in the rhythm that has since conquered the world.
1925. The country is on its feet again. There is dancing in the streets, spending in the nightclubs, the golden era of the boom days. Sing hallelujah, hallelujah, and you sing to the beat of West. When hell was here, sing hallelujah, and it'll take you right to the darkest day. Old Satan is waiting and creating eyes of gray. The stock market crashes. Millions of security values are swept away and the country plunges into the worst depression in its history. Once I built a railroad, I made it run, made it race against time. Once I built a railroad, now it's done. Franklin D. Roosevelt completes his first year in office. Millions of men go back to work. America once more faces forward. Drag up the band. Let the drums roll out. Let the trumpets call. Let the people shout. Strike up the band. Here is the symbols ring. Calling one and all. To the march of swing. To be done, to be done. There's a war to be won, to be won. Come, you son of a son of a gun, take your stand. With our flag on fire, we can face the world. Hey, leader, strike up the band. Ooh, ooh, march, march, men, men, and all of them back to work again. All of them back. Job, machine, work, pay. Look, Paddy A.B., Jimmy and Ty, a spirit of fight, and a die. The plains of the hill, from the farm to the mill. The world is open again. All the line, yay, boy. Come on along, let's go. from the Variety Theater in Radio City under the direction of Rudy Valley. Rudy presents Otis Skinner, Cornelia Otis Skinner, Tom Howard, George Sheldon, Blossom Seeley, and Benny Fields.
publisher after the music publisher tries to find a tune that might take its place. One broadcast of this song was enough to make Larry Spear feel that he had another spinning wheel. It is called The Cradle and the Music Box. The Stewart sisters will provide a counter melody of Home Sweet Home. George Sheldon. Tom has been carrying on a querulous argument with George before our microphone on and off for two years now. Tonight they carry their bickering into the upper reaches of nonsense with a crossfire sketch called Stratosphere because it goes a long way to get nowhere. Tom Howard with George Sheldon. What are you going to do? Start already? No, what? no, no. Oh, what is this you ditto? said Happy New Year, didn't you? Yeah, I said that. I said ditto. That yeah. means the same. Oh, yeah. put the uh, kind of be different like. Classy, that's all. Oh, that's all right. Go ahead. Yeah. How have you been, been, George? Oh, I've been fine, Tom. Yeah. Hey, Tom, have you made up any New Year's resolutions? Uh, uh, what is it? New Year's resolutions. Yeah. Oh, you, what do you mean? The book? Uh, turn it over. Yeah, turn book. over a new leaf. Oh, the page. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I turn. I got to put a new one this year. Red, uh, What's that? Uh, smoking. I, I'm not going to smoke any more cigars, George. That's you fine. know, I'm a veteran, veteran, a veteran smoker. You You're know. a what? Uh, I, a veteran smoker. Smell it. Uh, uh, I'm a heavy smoker, George. Oh, 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 I smoke oh, oh, a lot of cigars, oh, oh, oh. so I cut it out. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait for a minute. You've got I, some in your pocket right now. Yeah. Now, if you're going to cut out smoking, why don't you throw those away? Oh, no, George, no. What? I made a resolution last year to stop smoking. I throw the whole box away. That taught me a lesson. All right. Oh, no, not All right, that's oh, fine. Sure. Well, Tom, how is 
for a credit to... Oh, do you hear about it? Oh, I haven't got her anymore. I haven't got who? It's Rick. She got hit with a truck. Oh. You know, a little... <laughs> we live on the highway, you know. Uh, all right, right I'm sorry. Hospital. You know, we can... I'm have... sorry, Tom. Uh, Say, are you going to Florida this winter? Yeah, all, every year. It's That's fine. Uh, Summer down there. Oh, well, I'll say it's yeah. summer. Yeah. Yeah, the temperature. Yeah, I can't say. Nice, nice and warm. warm. Yeah, degrees. Last winter is 70 degrees. 70? In the shade. What are you talking about? I was down there and it was 90. Oh, that was during the boom, George. Yeah. Yeah, but <laughs> I was, uh, this was... Uh, this was uh, all this right, was, right, all right. Forget all about it. I'm sorry that I even mentioned it. You're so- what yeah, do you mean? Just drop you don't have to be sorry. What are you doing? Getting uh, sarcastic? Uh, no, uh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not becoming sarcastic at all. have to say Wait now for a minute. What's the matter? What are you flying off the handle? I ain't for? flying off the handle. You I certainly are. Oh, you said you got a funny look on your face. Yeah, that guy. I can't help that. I know you can't. Well, don't blame me. No, you can't. Yeah. What did you do? Get up with a grouch this morning? No, she got up ahead of me. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. She always gets up ahead of me, Joy. Well, well, there's something wrong with well, you. Well, maybe it is my fault. I don't feel. Uh, What's wrong? I don't know. I'm homesick, George. Oh, don't be yeah. silly. This is your home. I know, and I'm sick of it. Yeah. I tell you, George, I don't know what it is. Get away. Well, and the only thing that you want is a change of atmosphere. I, I, I want a what? Who? A huh? change of atmosphere. No, no, I wouldn't get me up in one of those things. But... <laughs> one of oh, what oh, things? That is, yeah, I don't know. I don't get in the narrative. You, you don't know what you're talking about. No, is that so? You don't know what I'm talking about either. What do you think of that? You, you're absolutely there you are, right. Then. There you are. Well, so what? So uh, what? So what? Uh, so what? What? So what? So that don't make sense. Oh, so what? What is it? I know it doesn't make what? sense. Tom, I'm talking about the atmosphere. Yeah. And you drag in the stratosphere. That is, well, what is stratosphere? Yeah. What do you mean stratosphere? Stratosphere. Yes. Yeah, you, you, you know what it is? Well, certainly. I you, suppose you do know what this is. You stratosphere. can't even say. You don't know what it's all about, do you? Sure, certainly I do. What is stratosphere? Is, uh, I suppose you know. I, I suppose. certainly do know. Yeah, well, oh, well, yeah. Young man, I know a few things. Oh, yeah. Well, I know just as few things as you know. What do you think of that? What do you know about oh, that? No, no, wait, I don't want to have no hi hat. No, you know. you're well, getting personal now. Oh, That's I, the whole I just put in All a right, stick when I can. I, I know I you're getting Now, that. listen, Tom, you what? spoke about going up into the stratosphere. In the, uh, yeah. You don't ride in a stratosphere. Why do you thought? Didn't I see in the newspaper the picture of the man, this fellow, the professor, the Pickard, the guy that you... Pickard? Yeah, Pickard. He was getting in it and his wife was in. You saw that in the paper? Yeah, so long. You said that in the paper? found it in the field. I know. Oh, found it in the field. Just a minute. You never saw no such thing in the newspaper. What you I saw mean? a picture of a gondola. Yeah. That is a metal basket that is attached to a balloon. I saw all that? Yes, much? then they get in this metal basket uh, and the balloon carries them up into the stratosphere. Oh, they're going to... Uh, oh, what, what kind of a place is it? It's I, a place. Yeah. It's but, not a place. What do you mean it's not a place? It's nothing. That's, that is nothing? No. What are you doing? What do you mean? They get in the balloon and they're going no place to yeah. see nothing. Yeah. What is that? I, oh, oh, I, I can't wait. get now, that. I know you can't. No. They go up into the stratosphere. You yes. see, Tom, the stratosphere is, uh, well, it's a sort of a gas. A gas? Yes. Yeah? Yes. And they go, see, they go hundreds of miles, in fact, thousands of miles up in the air. They get gas? I, no, no. I've had gas for years, George. I don't know. Only, only last night I had a billion attack. I don't have a way up in the... Oh, that, Tom, it's what? not that sort of gas. What is? Uh, well, it's... Uh, well, take ether. No, oh, no. It makes me sick. I, uh, well, you I, can take it for example. No, I wouldn't take it. I didn't take it for appendicitis. I'm not going to take it for example. What do you mean, I I say it for Chevrolet. I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean, Mom? My ass. Say, you, you don't know what you're talking about. I know. You told me that before. All right. All right. All right. All right. Now, listen. Let's take a look at Admiral Byrd. Where? Uh, I, I don't, don't mean look at him. He's Ooh. not here. Well, but Admiral Byrd and all the other great explorers. Yeah, yeah. Why do you think they went to the North Pole and the South Pole? To get gas? Don't no. tell me that. No. Tom, no, they went there to get data. What's that? Data? Data. Data. Oh, I'm too smart for you, huh? All right, I'll make it clear. I'll say data. Data. Yeah, went there. You know what data is? Oh, I know what data is. What is it? Data. When I come home, the kid says, Mom, here's data. I go, all right. How are you? What do you got for stuff in life? Oh, what does beef stew? I don't know. Beef stew, all right. Forget about it. What? Data. Data. Yeah, what are you talking about? You don't know, do you? No. There you are. You know the reason I know you don't know what I'm talking about? No. You told me, didn't you? Uh, All right, 
Now, now, listen. The stratosphere, what? Tom. Yes. The stratosphere, it's a space. Huh? It's a void. It's uh, something that you can't see. I can't see? No. You are the stratosphere. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's just the thing. You are, you, I can't have it. If oh, you no, you're getting poisoned on the get down, Tom. No, no, Accusing no. me that you can't see no, me, huh? No, 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 no. All right, I'll drop it. I'll ignore it. You'll fix your eyes. All right, all right. I'll, right. I'll, right. I'll, I'll ignore it. I'll ignore it. Go ahead. I'll ignore it. Yeah. Now, the stratosphere. Men go up in the stratosphere to find out how, what the conditions are. Right the conditions there. bad enough down here? Oh, I know. Why? Why? But, Tom, if these men didn't go up, do you realize what would happen to progress? Centuries of Oh, oh, what are you talking about? It closed up two months ago. What closed? That means the progress. Oh, the last, didn't you hear about it? Yeah, what? They wrecked the joint the last night. Oh, I right, read right. I read the right. right. I know you, know. you do. Yeah. Well, I know. We'll take Christopher Columbus. He was a great explorer. Oh, no, I got you. He was an Italian. <laughs> you can't fool me. I read. I know he was, Tom, but he was an Italian explorer. Well, yeah. He discovered this great and glorious country that we live in. Oh, this wonderful country. Land of the free. Wait, that's my line. All right, The land of the free and the home of the sales tax. I know. You can't be. Oh, Tom, you're impossible. Why don't you get a job as a pathfinder for a lazy title? Oh, no. I got a good job now. Do you have? Yeah. yeah. What doing? Cheerleader in Potter's Field. Yeah. I don't, I don't know how to job like that. Well, that's a grave situation. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. all there is. Tommy, I know as much about this admiral bird guy as you do. Why oh, you that? you're bragging now. No, I don't brag. Brag. All right. Oh, all right. Yeah. Let me hear you spell admiral bird. I can. What? Spell admiral bird. Well, I can. I don't know about the admiral. I can get the bird. All right. Spell it. All right. What? Spell his last name. Spell what, bird. What are you trying to do? Humiliate me? Yes, I will humiliate you. Well, I can. Yes. Spell it. Go on, spell it. B-U-R-D. B-U-R-D. Well, what's about? I'll just bet you $10 that you're wrong. You what? I'll bet you $10 that you're wrong. I'll bet you I'm right. I'll bet you're wrong. $10? You got it? I got 10 You didn't have it the last time. I know. I borrowed it off you. Here. Here you are. Let Rudy hold the bet. All right, let Rudy hold it. Rudy, would you would you hold that bet, Rudy? Right, sure, Tom. Well, what's the bet? Now, Rudy, listen. I'm betting Tom that he cannot spell Admiral Bird's last name. Yes. Correctly. Is that right, George? Right. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Okay, Tom, go ahead. That's the rudiments of it, Rudy. Oh, the rudiments. He's getting class. All right, I can spell the rudiments of it. Last name. Yeah. Uh, B-Y-R-D. Bird. That's right. What? That's right, Tom. Here's your money. Thanks very much, Rudy. Not at all. Not at all. Uh, Say, wait for a minute, Tom. Now, wait for a minute. You didn't spell it that way the first time. It wasn't that in the first time. No. <laughs> And tell him to give orders to the governor of the tower to have everything ready for the ex-queen's execution. Is the same ceremonial to be observed as in the case of Queen Catherine Howard, Your Majesty? Uh, no, yes, you know. There need be only one roll of drugs. And while you're on the way, ask Dr. Butts whether Alexander the Great Horse was black or white. It was black. Mm. Well, in time to go to the block... I dare say you'll allow me to go and pack up my things. Oh, by the way, you left your loot in my sitting room. I'll bring it down. Uh, wait a minute. There's no hurry. I beg your pardon. I have very little time and a great many letters to write. And I want you to have some music. Oh, you don't expect me to play your accompaniment now, do you? You'd better find someone else. I've got other things to think about during my last moments on Earth. <laughs> Oh, come, dear. You know I was only joking. Oh, joking? Let bygones be bygones and let's have some music. I, I want you to play over my ballad. Do you? Well, you can get somebody else to play it. Catherine! If you can find the Lord Chamberlain and Dr. Butts says, Your Majesty, he... He, he says... He says, he says, well, what did he say? Was the color of Alexander the great horse? He says it was... It uh, was the same color Your Majesty said it was. Ah, very good. You can go. <laughs> you needn't deliver the message to the Lord Chamberlain. Now, my dear, we'll go and play. You see, I, I knew I was right. It was black all the same. Yes. Yes, my dear, of course it was black. But let's go and have some music. At the grocers, restaurants, and soda fountains in your neighborhood, there's now available a new wonderful health food. Must be crossed hand in hand, so close to the music. 
Star begins 1935 with what promises to be an unusually attractive variety cast this hour next week. This is Rudy Valley bidding you all good night. This is the National Broadcasting Company. <laughs>